always trying to find nice and interesting places to fucking film in the house. Whether or not, I think my camera's dirty and I think it is. And it was. But anyways, this is like the most natural light as I can get. And yes, I know, I'm orange and tan as I explained in the last video. I went camping um, for the July weekend. We left Friday. Um, it was pretty breezy here in the Bay Area. We got, we went up to Woodward Reserve. Oh my God, let me tell you guys, it was so fucking dusty, dirty. See, I don't mind camping. I'm a, I could do the outdoor shit because, you know, I'm a rugged, dirty kind of person. I don't really care. But what I can't stand is like, well, the accommodations we had, like, we had to go to the bathroom. We had to take showers up there. The hoes that were up there were fucking nasty. Like, they fucking took shits and pisses in the shower. Um, they fuck when they wipe their ass or would like put tampons on the floor as they wipe their ass and they would put it on the side of the fucking toilet and there was like pits of flies everywhere in the bathroom. Not that I expected it to be clean, but you know what? And I know it was gonna be dirty, but the fucking porta potties were like five star accommodations compared to the fucking bathroom. So shout out to you heifers for the fucking bathroom. Thank you very much. And I think that um, there are other places in the Bay Area that we could go camping at next time. And I could definitely check that out. But um, over this last week, I was so just busy trying to get shit together for us to go camping. I didn't even do any of my videos. And also, I'm also working with somebody trying to get myself a new banner and a new avatar up. So that it looks more, a little bit more professional. And of course, I'm working on trying to get my camera equipment, lighting, and shit situated. But in the meantime, we're going to have to deal with shitty lighting shitty hours and of course children and husband in the background everybody you guys don't know who that is that's my husband juan we've been me and him have been married for over now almost damn six years shit babe we've almost been married six years how do you feel about that we got married on halloween hopefully he won't be shy he could probably could probably do a husband my husband tag later on maybe in a few months but that's up to him because he normally never jumps in any of my videos nor did he ever jump in my vines if you guys remembered um so, you guys, we're jumping into this as the June favorites. Like I said, I didn't do this last week because I was super busy camping and just ugh, just everything. So, let's just jump into it. Before I just let you guys know, my mother-in-law went to Mexico. And, uh, you know, I thought, like, you know, she always asks us if we always have special requests and we should go to Mexico. And I just like, ask for um, rancheritos. And we're like, they're like these barbecue-flavored uh, Doritos that they sell in Mexico. Well, they don't sell them um, in Calexico or in, like, um, it's like, like Baja, Mexico, or whatever the fuck that part is, like Tijuana and like Mexicali and like whatever. Like, I've only been to Tijuana like, a, like, like once, and it's another like once, so that's like years ago, but yeah. So, she brought me back some shit. Well, she brought me back some, some of these. Like, they sell them here, but you know, I mean, I, what are these sab sabritones? You know, Pocha well, can't speak Spanish, guys. You gotta have to help me out with this shit. So, sabritones, and um, I think they're called sabritas up here. I don't remember. Or sabritos, I don't remember. And then we have these sabritas limon, which are Lay's lime. Um, also, we have these up here. But it's the thought that counts, you guys. And she also brought me this big ass, bo big ass bottle of chamoy, chamoy sauce. I mean, chamoy sauce. That we so we can make mango nadas and like um, mango locos and all that shit, you know, because everybody up here goes crazy for mango nadas. But. You know, we don't have the time or the money to be going up and down the damn street to go get some fucking mango nanas and all that stuff. And she also brought me back a bunch of fucking charritos. And these are Juan's favorites. Um, they're like dry. Babe, what are these? Like, it, it's like fried corn wheat snacks. Yeah, they're like grounded up and they come out like in these tool shapes. And they're shaped. And also you put lime. You can put tapatio, chamoy sauce. Um... They're, these are really good. You know what? These taste like corn nuts. Like dry ass corn nuts to me. So these were fucking bomb. And she bought us guayaba. What is it? Guayaba sticks? Yeah, she bought us back some guayaba sticks. We have those in the refrigerator. And also, I'm going to be sending those out to my pen pal, Sabrina. And, um, and fuck. Oh my God! I can't even think right now. <laughs> Shit. She lives like, um,. In the Netherlands, so we oh, we've we've been pen pals now for like almost oh shit two years now. So like we're gonna do a snack swap soon. So we'll be going ahead and doing an unboxing. But again, this is we're gonna just jump into this video real quick. This is just my June favorites and things that I I, like I said I forgot to do last week because I was doing shit camping. And also I I didn't take many pictures and videos because of course you know why would you go and do all that shit? Like you know why would you do all that stuff if you're camping? You're supposed to be 
isolating away from technology and getting to spend time with your family, which I did. And I'll be doing a separate video about that, talking about my camping experience as an autism mom for the first time. And hopefully Juan could sit down and talk with me with that because that's actually really, really, that was actually something that we both experienced as parents. And I thought that was like, it was something very different. So let's jump into this really quick. Um, so the first item I have up is the Tresemme Fresh Start um, Dry Shampoo Refresh and Revive Hair Without Water Spray. Now, this this I actually purchased um, a few months ago, but I barely got around to using it now because, like, we don't have, we're in the California drought and we can't shower. We can't shower all the time and go crazy with the shower time. We, like, we have to cut our shower time down. You guys, I mean, it's important overall to conserve your water, but, you know, it's crucial you know, when you're in the shower as females, you know, we got to get in there, jump in and jump out. You know, we're washing ourselves, we're doing what we got to do. So, I can't wash my hair every day. So, we use this, and this, I loved it because, it, you know, it sprays white, but there's no residue, there's no flakes when we spray, and I can also blow dry, and it smells super fresh, and you know when there's usually that dry shampoo you use, and um, when you blow dry, you can still smell that, like, scalp, hair sweat, I, I don't, I don't know exactly how to explain that smell, but this was just awesome, and it's been awesome to use. Say hi, Gio! Say hi, YouTube! Say hi, everybody, this is my son, Gio. Say hi, everybody. You're going to be on YouTube. You're going to be on YouTube. Isn't that exciting? You're going to be famous. So, um, okay, Papa, go instantly absorb oil. And it was just fab, and I loved it. Just, you can't get, and I'm going to have to buy, like, two bottles next time I go. And the next one, I ran out, and I threw the bottle away like a dumbass on accident, was the Tresemme Max Roots of Visible in the Runaway Collection. Now, I use this to do my at-home blowouts, and it's amazing. It's this black bottle with pink writing, and you just, you, it's like, comes out white, and you can rub it in your hands, and just put it in your hair, and it's just, it's fab. It smells great. doesn't leave any residue in your hair again. Tresemme products are simply underrated. You know, they're, they're fabulous salon quality products for at-home prices. They're just bomb. I mean, you cannot... I, I've bought a lot of a lot of the salon products when I used to work and um, when I had money and stuff like that to burn on salon products and they don't come nearly as great as, as trust me even though I don't really care for the shampoo the styling products are just amazing I I really like them so I don't have that with me, so sorry. So the next thing actually would be the the Tresemme Thermal Creations um, heat protectant spray, and this is also bomb. This is leaving. I did. I usually use this after I would wash my hair, say if I was gonna blow dry it out, or if I was gonna straighten it or curl it. And I mean, I would let my hair like drip dry, and like I would put a towel over my neck, and I would squeeze all the hair out. I mean, yeah, for all the water to come out, and I would spray this all over from root to tip, even though it's, it's like to go from below down to the tip of the hair. But I did everything because, you know, you never know. And this actually just, it smells super good. It smells pretty nice. Um, it also, it worked really well with my with my straightener, which I need to get a new straightener, by the way. If you guys have any recommendations on what I can get, because the last one I got was actually Santee Alley, and it's like a, it was a Prolis straightener, and I got it for $25, and it lasted up until recently, so I need to get a new one. So it's been five years. <laughs> so, but anyways, um, it's really protected my hair. This is probably like the third bottle I've gone through this year. It's it's amazing, and it um just basically it like I noticed like I didn't see any as many split ends, and plus since I bleached my hair a lot from platinum blonde to silver to gray to back to blonde to pink, I saw like you know it didn't strip my hair down a lot. And then the major coup with this one was because my hair was pink, and you know when you would and that's because it's a semi permanent color when you would spray you know you notice a lot of the color like anytime you get your hair wet or like or you're in the shower you see the color go away with this I didn't lose any of the color on the on the um on the straightener so that was actually really excited about using this and this is actually really I recommend this a lot for people who have semi-permanent color like purples and blues and pinks and greens and whatnot this was the, this was bomb really because like this this actually worked with my hair and it and it you would think that those colors were actually naturally pigmented on my head, and it didn't strip them down. It didn't make them fade. It, I think it pro it made them look more vibrant and more shinier and more beautiful than ever. Than ever. I mean, that shit was good too. So the next thing I have is, you know, I went into Bath and Body Works about a month, about two months ago for Mother's Day for myself, and I bought myself a couple things, and I totally forgot about. Oh um, yeah, I guess like my necklace. I got this at shopmiss8.com. Shop you guys can look right there. Um, I don't, I don't think they sell these anymore. But I just, I saw this and I thought it was really cool and unique. Look like a little bicycle wheel. Pretty cool. Pretty funky. I liked it. Um, I, I found 
that they had Moonlight Path. I was like, oh my god, I remember when they first came out with this smell. It was like 15. I remember it was for the Christmas. It was for Christmas in like 2000, and I and I purchased it for my friend. And I remember they had, they made it's like this whole Moonlight Path thing. They had everything in this were almost purple when they came out with that release. So we don't need to go into this, but this is my June favorite. I've been wearing this all month. Um, along with my deodorant and just it just it brings out the secret deodorant that I wear It's just like oh, I love it living so I had the original I also when I purchased this back in the day it, it also had like a glass perfume bottle but it was in the in the body spray so it was actually it was really cute it looked really pretty on my dresser and I ran out of it and then they stopped making that and then that's when they actually they redesigned everything it would to look more modern, but I actually like the old print because they look like actually like a little garden and it had like a little walkway path. I remember a lot of the scents I miss growing up, man. I miss, I miss the original packaging of Moonlight Path, and I also, and I also miss this one perfume that Calgon used to make years ago. And they stopped making it when I got to high school. It was called Ghost Mist. Oh my God, Calgon! If you could fucking watch this, and can you please give me a bottle of Ghost Mist? I love that shit. My mom would buy me that stuff every year for Christmas. Where she would buy me the the perfume, perfume, and the gifts that would be the body mist, the shower gel, and the lotion. I remember I had a boyfriend who just who was just obsessed with that smell, and I would only wear that around him because he'd be like, "Oh my God, you smell so good." And then I remember I wore I, I switched it up one time and I wore Plumeria from Bath and Body Works, and you know this is like high school days, and he just like that smells hella gross. Go back to that, and then they stopped making it, so I was hella heartbroken. Maybe that's the reason why we broke up I don't know because I stopped wearing ghost mist just kidding um the next thing I have on my June favorites is Maui Mango Surf Body Wash from Bath and Body Works as you guys can see um even though we're in a Cal even though California is in a drought and we can't really use water and stuff I'm gonna still take my fucking shower and I'm gonna still scrub it up dub and this stuff smells so just ugh I use this on myself. My kid, my daughter, let my daughter, as you guys seen in the video earlier, she loves this stuff too. I also have the 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 coconut scrub that matches this, the mango coconut scrub, and it's not as fragrant as this one, as the body wash, but it, I like how it leaves that smell. And I also have the matching glitter body spray. But the, I thought this was really fun to use in the shower. If you've had a nice stress day, you know you want to wash up and release the tension in the shower. Um, this would totally be it. I like I like fruity stuff. I like a lot of fragrance stuff. I mean, I have, because I don't like using bar soap because it leaves me very ashy after the shower. And there's no lotion, I feel like, in the world that can remove the, the, the ashiness after using bar soap or even residue. I mean, I use, I mean, I use a, a bunch of stuff in my time, but I just feel like this was, this, that Bath and Body Works soap is just, is bomb to take showers with and I mean, there's nothing to compare it to. I mean, many, many companies, many stores try to recreate the whole, the whole line of like having fragrant body wash. You know, you can put all the fragrance you want, but is it going to have the cleaning power behind it? No, it's not. But this was just yeah. bomb and I loved it. So Mang Maui Mango Surf is bomb. So if you have, and it also can in included Shea and Vitamin E. Um, and it has ruby mango, guava nectar, white pineapple, coral hibiscus, and island sandalwood notes to it. So this is just incredible to have in the shower. And plus it's summer. Who doesn't want to smell sexy and tropical? Uh, the next thing of my June favorites is my Carmix. This is an all-time classic. If you can't, if you can't rock the Carmix, then, I mean, this is just for summer. It's windy. We went camping. We go... We go out in the street, you know, it's it's hot, it's dry, it's humid, it's foggy. Here in the Bay Area, Bay Area you guys know, ever, I don't know, whoever is from my channel who's from the Bay Area, you guys know we have foggy mornings where you can't even see the street signs in the morning. And, you know, it's, it's, it smells like it just rained. So that's basically all the fog that just rolled down the hill. But all of that moisture, you're losing it in the day, and it's just like you need something to revamp your lips before you go and get them dried and flaky and chapped. Carmex. Is bomb, and you guys can get this at any drugstore. I'm um, pretty much at any drugstore, any store, um, like anywhere, like in the impulse aisle, like right when you're about to pay, it should be right there. So, I mean, there's nothing more to say, but I love Carmex. Um, next thing I have for my June favorites is the Anna Nicole Lippy Velour Liquid Lipstick from Jeffree Star. Now, this is like bomb. This is like gold digger color, and I fucking love it. Like. It's like this orange red, and this reminded me a lot of this of a Corvette. I I used to have as a little kid. I used to have this Power Wheels Corvette, and Anna Nicole was just like a big icon growing up. 
one when I was growing up, she was like a real big deal. She wore gas jeans. She was in Playboy. And my mom would get really pissed at me because I was like in love with Anna Nicole Smith. I wanted to get Anna Nicole. I wanted to have her blonde hair. I wanted to have her curvy ass hips. I wanted her pouty, her pouty lips. I wanted her smile. I wanted to look like Anna Nicole Smith up until when I got old and realized, you know, you're not white, sweetheart. You're Mexican. You have brown hair. You have brown eyes. And you're going to look just like yourself. You're going to look like La Focha. So I kind of got over it, but I still hold Anna Nicole dear to my heart. And I really think that she's really beautiful. I think just, you know, a lot of the stuff, you know, she's gone through. I, I really didn't mind it. I mean, that's her own personal tragedies. And I feel like everyone has to go through their own shit to grow as a person. And people shouldn't judge others for that stuff. So... I mean, but she got a lipstick name after that's so cool. Jeffree Star really, really did great on this one. This was this is probably one. And I rock this every day almost. My mom even loved it. I mean, I think this compliments every skin tone, every skin tone because there's key, there's orange in here. There's like orange notes, and you know it dries quick, you know, and it, it looked perfect under my Carmex too. So there it goes, and it looked perfect with my dewy skin. And what's giving me my dewy skin? Is my Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Facial Facial Cream. I have this all over my shoulders. I mix it with my lotion, and I also mix this with my current foundation. I wore the the like some lightweight CoverGirl foundation in the tube with the pink. I seen it. Um, I don't even want to go look for it right now. But I mix this in to make me look with this dewy skin. I've been using this since I got it a few weeks ago. Uh, there's been a lot of hype and drama going on wrong with um with with Gerard Cosmetics. You know about so-and-so calling people ugly. I don't give a fuck. As long as he didn't call me ugly, I don't, I mean, as long as she didn't call me ugly, I don't care. You know, I bought it. It's my money. You don't like it. You don't got to watch my video. If you don't like it, you don't got to buy the products. You don't just keep it simple. If you just don't got to keep on, nah, 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 just, just keep it moving up. If you really fucking hate something, then you really fucking hate something. But it, it is what it is. And I, I'm just like, ugh. I don't understand. But this was a really good deal. Dupe that on Instagram. I'm going to link them below with their with their username. Had a deal going on with Gerard Cosmetics. And they always have super deals. I think you can never hit, you can never pay something full price on Gerard Cosmetics unless you want to. There's always cosmetic coats everywhere online. You see them on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and um, here on YouTube too. So Dupe that had a two-for-one deal. So they was like the... Was it? These are regularly priced at thirty dollars a piece, and then I think I I got the coupon code, and it was I paid two for thirty, so they're basically like fifteen dollars a piece. Which I got another bottle, and I only got sent once the first time, but they messed up my order. And the customer service, I mean, they don't have a phone number, but you have to email them, and they emailed back super fast. Um, they email they they sent me back my stuff within the next day. I got a pen, and I got a really handwritten really clean thank you note for purchasing and supporting the thing and it was wrapped in, the, in a purple velour bag also giving me um instructions on how to pump the bottle since i when i opened it i was like why isn't this shit pumping there isn't a tube in here so you have to kind of like shake it down and it's just the tube but i've used this every day since i've had it and it, it's really worked it, it's really pigmented and a lot a lot goes a long way so i would suggest mixing this with your favorite lotion your favorite foundation your favorite concealer and you're gonna wear that all over and it just gives you this nice summer airy beautiful glow and we get plenty of sunshine here in the bay area so this is amazing i love this stuff um last thing on my jean favorites is um, it's a Wen dupe, you guys. There's a Wen dupe out there. It's Rem Pure Solutions in, res in Rosemary Mint, and this is a 16 ounce bottle. This is pretty big. Um, this is a. I've read a lot. I haven't read a lot of things about this, and I haven't seen a review on this on YouTube. And I should do one, but I'm gonna go ahead and further out and buy another type of scent to this. Um, they also had pomegranate, coconut, and I think uh palm, i forget some other scent but i think it was just mint yeah it was just mint um this stuff has been conditioned it's a conditioning shampoo <clears throat> so there's no need for extra conditioner unless you want to um it tells you how many pumps you would need so i used six pumps on top six pumps to the bottom and four on my roots and just wet the hair a little bit and just massage it and then you're exp and as a person who shampoos with shampoo and you're actually expecting suds and stuff it, it just made a difference on my on my hair. My husband, who has really thick, curly hair, he lost his curls growing up. And I told him to use this. And what do you know, all his curls came back. And now they're like, like straight ringlets. 
and then my hair is like super straight but yet my hair is not really frizzy it's not doesn't feel weighted down like you know with normal conditioners so this is something that I totally have and plus you don't have to wash your hair every day I paired this up with the dry with the dry shampoo and this is just amazing I, I use this a lot and I'm already almost out my daughter I use it also my daughter on her ends because she has really long hair and it's not curly but it's straight and it's wavy on the bottom so I just use this to manage her hair and it's and it comes out wonderful plus um, your eyes don't tingle. I mean, you feel really fresh after washing your hair with this. And it's just, this was $6.99 compared to when you buy when. And it's $40 for the bottle. Plus, you don't, and then, like, if you want the other incentives, like the hair wax and all the other stuff, it's going to run you about $75 to $100, depending on where you buy it and where you go. So, $6.99 compared to $75.99, I think that I would go with this bottle here. And this is available at Target.com. And I haven't seen it at the Target stores, but if I do, I will let you guys know if I see it there. Okay, so I that's it for my June favorites, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to have another video for you guys sometime this week. Um, Juan, will we doing? Are we gonna be doing the camping video? Well, can we do a camping video together? He says he don't know, but we'll see. I'll try to convince him. Um, thank you guys for watching and also to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys for, for subscribing and I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys later in the week. Bye! <laughs>